We already have so much more sun. Like a brand new day. You feel it on your face, Jazzy? So nice. That's so nice. And we've got Porter and Dave taking down some trees today. And the reasoning is, is that it's gonna allow a lot more sunlight into this area and it will better prepare us for future projects to help us be more self-sustainable out here as we live off grid. I think Bear enjoys the show just as much as we do. It is, look at, look at them back here, eh? Crazy how much they got done already. If this was me cutting trees, I'd probably still be on my first tree. If you all watch that episode. But I am gonna get a lesson on the chainsaw, a real life lesson, not a YouTube lesson, so can't wait for that. And one of the biggest benefits from taking back some of these trees is that the larger trees are gonna be able to flourish again. It was so incredibly dense and the forest floor was lacking diversity that some of the smaller trees were actually not even growing at all and were actually dying. So this is just really good forest management. It's gonna be a lot better and yeah, it's gonna be a lot better. <laughs> He's like, tiny yeah, his tiny house. He's like, I wanted all those trees. I was like, there are trees. Yes, you heard that right. All of these larger trees on the trailer, Porter's actually gonna use to build his tiny home. And just like you at home, your house was built from the earth. It was built from the forest. And so we are going to reuse these materials and build Porter a little tiny home himself. These trees here are gonna be used for firewood or as building material. So we'll be able to use it for different projects, some sort of garden beds or walkways, who knows? Leave the keys? No. <laughs> One day. No. <laughs> Never. Good work, thank you. You're welcome. Are you guys done for today? Yeah. Nice. Bell and Izzy are the happiest. Yeah. Porter's here. Appreciate it. Bye. While Porter and Dave were just leaving, Dave was actually saying, and a lot of you have actually said this online too, that we should do a lot more thinning on our entire five acres. We're actually not even using an acre. Like we don't even have an acre cleared here. So it's really important that we do do a lot more clearing on this side, behind us, even down the driveway. But if you look over here, the previous owners did thin this side a little bit and take a look. And it's just alive, like so nice to walk on to touch. I'm really happy that we're taking care of this. Well, that we're getting Porter and Dave to help us. But I think my chainsaw skills just need a little bit more practice before I take on a job like this. Because perfect practice makes perfect. And chainsawing is really serious. So, I should probably know what I'm doing. Ooh. Good. Here we go. Okay. Can I give this to Bella? Heck yeah. Bella. Yeah. You want a toy? You want a toy? Go get it! <laughs> you got it! Okay, so these all have numbers. Come on! <laughs> Camera! <laughs> Whoa! That's good! Where's your box? <laughs> nice! When are you preparing for winter? And today is the day. What the heck are these girls doing in the forest? Not preparing for winter, it's coming. Find that pretty hard to believe today. It's, how warm is it? I Feels like a beautiful 24 degree weather. Look is at the- 20? I feel like it's 24. Bluebird day, literally not a cloud in the sky. Well, there's over a hundred pieces. Yay. Are you ready, Jess? Always ready. I actually had no idea that it would be like this, but step one, let's go. Connect 802635 to 802633. Look, I'm like a Bigfoot. So the 
these shelter logic tents come in all shapes and sizes. This one is for a very specific need, but I've seen them for cars and all different types of shelters. They're so easy to put together. I genuinely think that anyone could do this. Oh. Just time consuming. Just need another lemon mill. Yeah. So that's the back. Also having a little bit of height helps. They go even. This is such a you job though. Whoa! Oh. Get this in, man. Look at that! I'm going down with it. Okay, you're gonna walk with it then. Yeah. Okay, you can drop it now. No! Fine. No, I'm not! Just drop me! Jasmine, Just stop flexing your abs. Let them go. Relax. You're not a noodle. You're like a pillow when you pick her up. Thank you. And on the back side, make sure you put your nut and bolt facing inwards so it doesn't rip. What's it called? The shelter itself. Like the but what's it made out of? Uh, the shielding part. Walls, I guess. The walls, the walls. I don't know if any of you have watched Squid Game yet, but I feel like Jasmine and I are on the game right now. I'm walking around in circles, the sun's going down, time's running out. What's gonna happen? Trying to find the pieces. <laughs> I can't find the pieces. One thing is, it's the panic. Just as we were saying that was easy, <laughs> that anyone can do it, anyone can do it, but also anyone can severely mess that up. We just <laughs> recognized that we had three pieces completely wrong. So, oh, you know, we're just reassembling it. <laughs> three five. What? Three, three five, that's what we were missing? Yeah, and this is the three four you need. <laughs> Thank you. Silly. What do you think, Bella? I'd say that looks even now. You don't care, do you? No. We have a 10 by 20 wood seasoning shed. That took all day. Weirdly enough, when we opened the box, there was a bag of those metal pieces that you saw us attaching, and we only had nine, so. You need 10. We have to call Shelter Logic and get a new one. In the meantime, this, no, I'm gonna get an actual twist tie. Yeah, this is just. I can't find them right now. Hold this for a second. This is for like, um, <laughs> what's it called? Extension cords. Yeah. To make neat. Yeah, but we'll, we'll, we'll get, get an a actual twist tie. One. Uh, sure and then hopefully get another metal piece. Yeah. But check it out. We have Six. bones. It's actually massive. This will hold a lot of winter firewood. Oh yeah. And the way that this is set up, well, we'll get into that tomorrow. Because yeah, when we do the, the walls. Yeah, I think it's time to eat it, ain't it? Can you speak English? <laughs> Hello? It's time to get our beloved Rocky fixed. Today's the day. I'm so sad to leave her. It's her already. I'm gonna leave the fridge running. Is that okay? Of course. So if you've been following along, you'll know that we had water in the fuel light sensor. Hence why we're here. We did some diagnosis. We changed the fuel filter. It still didn't clear the code. We noticed that there's three wires that go to the fuel, fuel filter sensor and though two of the wires are actually disconnected. Anyways, we don't even know if that's a problem. So we've dropped her off at a famous Mercedes and she's in good hands. Yeah. In better news, it is amazing that we have Big Red. Yeah, so this is Big Red. You haven't actually, you haven't, they haven't met the truck. No, this is what I'm saying. It was so dark when you came home. Yeah, yeah. So this is Big Red, everyone. This is our beloved truck and it's amazing. And the reason why I really went home to pick this up, our mechanic back home actually found us this truck for a very affordable price. It's an 09 and it's ready to work for us. And it was worth it for you to fly home and pick up this truck from someone like yeah. that we trust and that we know and that actually did the work on it and it's ready to be driven and ready to be put to work. <laughs> and it's ready to take us home because we don't have our other vehicle. So it's yeah. super important that we had another vehicle for times like Especially this. Especially living where we live, we do live so remotely that it is important that we do a backup vehicle yeah. just in case. Or if I'm out in the van, you have a way to leave if you need to. Yeah. Um, and it's just gonna be great all around. I love it already. I haven't so vlogged in so long, my arm is gonna fall off. <laughs> the girls love it too. Okay, now four by four. Let's get in and show you Big Red. I love this truck. It fits our whole family. And that, my friends, 
is our new truck. I think it should be named Clifford. Our patrons agreed, but they also said Henry because of Henry Ford. What do you all think we should name Big Red? Let us know in the comments. Crystal doesn't really like Clifford, but I'm really team Clifford. And our patron actually made us realize that it's like pack, you know, like we call each other the pack, all of us the pack. It's just another pack member. I don't know yet, but I'm not a big fan of Clifford. I like Big Red better. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Or just, oh, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> I gotta think on it. You guys can think with us. Let us know. As you all know, Jasmine flew back home to Ontario to buy the nameless red truck. <laughs> and she flew knowing that she got the best deal thanks to Hopper. Hopper is a free app available on Android and iOS. It finds you the best prices for your next trips, flights, accommodations, and rental car bookings. There's no fees, no hidden stress. It's just fantastic travel deals. The app is really easy to use. They have a color-coded calendar and it shows you the cheapest days to fly out. So green is the best deal for where you're headed. If you're flexible with your dates or you're not ready to jet off just yet, you can select watch a trip. Hopper will then monitor the prices of your fare 24 seven and notify you when it's the best time to buy. It gets better. Hopper offers price freeze. If you find a good deal, you can sit on it, make plans, call friends, call family, and come back without having to worry that the rate has increased. I like this because walking away from the computer only to come back a few hours later and have to pay a few extra hundred dollars is the worst feeling. And it shouldn't be like that. And Hopper makes it easy. Another way you can save money is through their reward program. Click the link in our description, download the app today. New users like you can receive up to $10 in Carrot Cash rewards to put towards your next hotel booking on the app. Classic Krista, I have camera one. Camera two, tripod and a coffee. And what are you doing? <laughs> Making me carry this all on my own. <laughs> to be honest, everyone, I'm surprised she even got out a solo vlog last week because she always forgot, gets to bring the camera everywhere she goes. <laughs> oh, I already spilled my coffee. My second coffee of today because guess what, everyone? We are slow pokes today. Oh, look at that, you're staying up by the screen. I've never done this before in my life. Wow, well, here we go. Got you all here safely. And if you're wondering, the shed is not staying on our front lawn. <clears throat> Did I show you wrapping it around it, see? Yeah. I say we just do it. Yeah, but if we do that and it's not that, then we just broke the entire... But look at this, they would never make this. No, oh, I just came out. Yeah. Oh, that was good. Um, a twig. Like, it's the only thing that's gonna work. There you go. Let's call Tyler and Dawn. Hey. Hi. I just have one pressing question right now, and it's ridiculous, but I'm just baffled with the Shelter Logic wood seasoning tent right now. <laughs> so the front part, you know where the top piece connects? Yeah. Like there's a pole at the top? Yeah. That has that top part has to go through that bar, and then the bar connects. Huh. Okay, so I have to disconnect the top part to put the door on. Yes, black flap goes like, um, like down in it, like through the opening, and then you connect it back together. Okay. Smart. Thank Smart. you. Thanks, Tyler. Yeah, no problem. But I'm in the midst of setting it up, and I'm missing two really important components. One of the pieces that we're missing is the rear door. Pretty important. <laughs> The second piece that we're missing is this metal component, which actually connects the crossbar. <laughs> Pretty important. <laughs> so, it makes sense why we are a little bit confused building this. We don't even have all the pieces. and the girls have new routine, morning routines, and it's called toy time in the morning before they do anything. <laughs> Since we don't have the van right now, this is how we have to do all of our cooking. Our van is a full house on wheels, so we normally do all of our cooking in there, but right now we have to make ends meet, and good thing we were campers back in the day, still are. Girls are coming in, you stand up. 
Because we have all the appliances to do so. It's a beautiful day to work outside. Good thing, because we're going to be out here all can again but it's done and we're ready it looks good too yeah come check it out this is our 10 by 20 shelter logic wood seasoning tent what it will do is it will dry the wood three times faster than average so something to do with the transparent material the sun keeping moisture out of here so the wood isn't rotting really important yeah so this tent has air circulation with these windows and the way that it's built it's Bella's still playing with the mother. I know. Um, hello, I'm trying to vlog. It's amazing. Oh, sorry, you are trying to vlog. We're just talking to Bella. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, Belle. <laughs> Later. And this, everybody, is three more cord of wood. That means we're sitting on six cord of wood that we need to stack and prepare for the winter weather. That should get us through the entire winter. Who's coming to help? And stay cozy in the cabin when it's all done. It's gonna be a lot of work, but this is good preparation for cold weather. It doesn't make sense. This is the only way actually we could do it this year because we only got here just a few months ago. So yeah. there's if no way that we could harvest trees fast enough and dry them fast enough to be able to have wood for the cold months. Yeah, because your wood needs to at least dry for one whole year. Yep. That's so now we're learning. We need to stack this ever properly. so nicely in the <laughs> so fun tent. I have to say though, it is a lot of peace of mind knowing that at least we have warmth lined up. For yeah, the next few months. And actually Porter and a lot of people in Nova Scotia, this is how they heat their house. It's yeah. the only source of heat, so. Actually a huge percentage of the province uses wood stoves to remain warm, so. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yeah. And I'm already out of breath and like, look how much I sucked. <laughs> well, wish us luck, everyone. I can always hear Porter at least a few kilometers away. We've got three minutes. Let's go, we should go out and do it. Come on, put it in. Put it in. The, the, man the mantle's broken. We can lift it one, No, we three. can't. We'll one, try it. One, yeah. two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. This is a new blade. Game changer. This is so much easier. I can't believe we laid that all that sod with a dull exacto. I can. We're Jazz and Crystal. Look at this. Ready? Mm. Wait. Wait. Butter! <laughs> it's literally butter. What kind of butter. Plant butter. <laughs> Plant based oil butter. Nice. <laughs> We literally just made it. Porter just got here as Jasmine backed into her parking spot. Good timing. <laughs> One son or two? <laughs> two son or two? Just kidding. Porter's definitely working on something else right now, but at least we have the fabric down. That way when he's ready to bring the gravel for that area, we're ready. Later Look at us. Just doing things right. <laughs> needs to stay super dry. Look at it out there. Not a good spot there, Izzy Wizzy. Typical Izzy, picks the best spot. Right in. This is so much wood. 
This is so much work. We need some music up in here. Come on. We got this. Well, it would help if I was on. So I'm very quickly realizing that stacking this style of unsplit wood is rolling down and putting weight on the sides of the shelter logic tent so i think we need to reinforce these walls especially if we want to get this many cord in here we need to have something on the walls for the wood to lean on so that way it's not going to rip the structure or the tent um so i'm gonna come back to this let's go and farm jazzy what's going on here what are you making some wraps i made the executive decision that i'm pausing this to reinforce the sides Smart idea. Yeah, it needs, it needs to happen. Yeah, it's kind of, I would never use like the food more. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to talk about. That's delicious. It's actually important. I hear Porter's truck. Let's hope he's bringing that gravel. I see raking in our future. The gravel has arrived and the reason we're putting gravel under here is because we are going to be doing a deck build in the near future and it's very important for it to have runoff as well as if we ever do leave the cabin for an extended period of time we're not going to have weeds growing up and it just be a mess it also just looks more finished more nice and proper so says youtube university at least At least we have some wood to put in our fire now. <laughs> it's not put away. <laughs> this week has all been a whole lot of going with the flow, but we're flowing. Just kidding, we're super cozy inside the cabin. It's so hard to leave once the fire's on. <sighs> gonna put our feet up and we're gonna see you next Sunday. Ciao. Ciao. Thinning, trimming. Okay, tall, big, and strong. <laughs> She's like, uh, mom, you take forever to feed me, so I'm gonna be eat corn. <laughs> I love this van. It fits it's all a, four it's of a truck, us. It's a truck, not a van. Bye.